the bell icon to turn on notifications. So far, there's one tab at the top here that we haven't really spoken about in any great depth, and that is the File tab. Now, the File tab is different from these other tabs as it doesn't contain a ribbon. So when we click on File, instead of getting a ribbon, it takes us into what we call the Backstage area. And this area is a little bit similar to the Start screen that we see when we first launch Excel. But there are some major differences. We have a lot more options that we can select in that left-hand menu from File. And this backstage area is really what we consider to be the admin area. This is where we can come to create new blank workbooks or even select a template. We can open workbooks from here. We can save workbooks from here. We can also do things like print workbooks, share them with other people, export them out to different file formats, and even publish them to the Power BI service. And we're going to be using each of these options throughout this course. But just for now, know that in order to get to these options, you need to click on File and go into what we call the Backstage area. Now, one page here that I do want to draw your attention to is this info page. Now, in info, we kind of have two parts to this. This is where we can come to do things like protect our workbook. So if we want to add a password to our workbook to protect which parts of the workbook other people can edit, we can do that from here. We can also inspect our workbook so we can check for any metadata or information that's stored in the background of each file, such as things like the author's name, when the document was created, things like that, we can remove all of those things before we send this out to other people. This is also where we can effectively recover any unsaved workbooks. So if we're working away in a workbook and we haven't saved it and Excel crashes, we're going to be able to see our unsaved workbooks listed here and we can effectively recover them. And then finally, we also have some browser view options. So if somebody else was viewing this Excel workbook on the web, we can control how they're viewing it. And once again, we are going to go through all of these options as we go through this course. Something else we also have in here are the document properties. Now, I haven't saved this document yet, so we don't have too many document properties. It hasn't got a title and it's blank, so it doesn't really have any size as yet. But we do have a little bit of information about this document. I can see when it was last modified, when it was created, when it was last printed. And I can also see that I'm the author and I was the person who last modified this. Now, the only other option that I really want to highlight in this backstage area at this stage is close at the bottom here. If you recall, previously when we were working in our Excel workbook, I mentioned that if you click the cross in the top right hand corner, that's basically going to close all of Excel. So if you've got multiple workbooks open, it's going to close them all. If you simply want to close the workbook that you currently have open, you would choose close from here. Now it's recognizing that I haven't saved this file. And that's fine, we don't really need this, so I'm going to say don't save. That file is going to close down, but notice that Excel remains open. And remember, if I want to quickly create a new blank workbook again, I can use my keyboard shortcut of Control N. Notice the file name at the top is now Book 3. So every time you create a new blank workbook and you don't save it as something else, when you create another one, it's going to be Book 3, Book 4, Book 5, so on and so forth. So just be aware of that. This close in here will close the current workbook. The cross in the top corner will close all of Excel. Now, if you want to backtrack out of this backstage area and go back to your Excel workbook, you have a couple of different options. At the top here, just above where it says home, we have a back arrow. If I click this, it's going to take me back to my workbook. Another way that we can do this is we can also press the escape key on our keyboard and that's going to take us back as well. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there 
to see more videos from Simon Says It.